So now we're talking about an uh, area of a triangle. So this is like your introduction to area of a triangle. And you kind of always remember this formula. Now, as you go on through the years in school, you'll get different formulas than this. But this is like the very first formula we always remember for doing an area of a triangle. So we kind of know it's just saying half the base by the perpendicular height. So perpendicular height might be something new to you now if you're in first year maybe. But um, <clears throat> just realize that the perpendicular height comes straight up from the baseline. So it makes this like right angle 90 degree from the baseline. Okay, so like here, here's some um, examples of how you might see use this formula in triangles, right? So here's a triangle here and here's the perpendicular height line. So you can see it's going to the very top point of the triangle here. So we actually take half the length of this base and multiply it by height. Now, it's the most important thing here is you take the perpendicular height. For instance, in this triangle here, it might be very tempting to say, well, because the triangle is orientated this way, this must be the base. But because we are given a perpendicular height coming from this line here, we must take this as the base. So remember, always connect it to the base or height line here. If we're given this perpendicular height line, this must be the base it's connected to, okay? So they will turn triangles around. When I say they, I mean like your books or exams or tests. You will see angles orientated in different ways. But once you have this 90 degree angle height line, well then you can f find out the area as long as you have this baseline that goes with it, all right? So just remember that. Now, I'm gonna do three examples here. And just to show you, so they're pretty straightforward. The first one's very straightforward. We have our perpendicular height line here. We can see it's a height of five centimeters, and we can see the base is eight centimeters. Now, so what's our formula? So it's half times the base, and let's just call it the height here, um, but, but you know I mean perpendicular height, right? Okay, so now that we have that, we can say, okay, that's a half, and times, what's the base? Eight uh, times the height. Okay, so it's a half eight times five. Now, if you put this into your calculator exactly like I've put it here, you'll get the answer straight away, All right? The only problem sometimes with using your calculator and going straight to it like that is that you'll be so tempted to do it so fast that you'll actually forget one major component of the answer. So what's the answer to this one? So what's a half times eight times... Five. Well, 8 times 5 is going to be 40, and a half of 40 is 20. But we're dealing with area, so the units are very important here. It's centimetres squared. Always a squared unit for an area. Okay? So you cannot forget this guy. Now let's look at the second example. We have a perpendicular height line of 13 centimetres, and we then must have our baseline here of 24 centimetres. So again, our formula is half the base by the perpendicular height. So let's do this in here. So that's going to be a half. What's the baseline? 24. And the height line is 13. So a half of 24 by 13. If you want to try it on your calculator and see what you get, you should get 1, 5, 6. And of course the units were centimetres, so it's centimetres squared. And I cannot stress again, you cannot forget these. Now, Let's look at this last example. It looks kind of strange. So in this, I've shown you a perpendicular height line. And you might think, well, that's not inside the triangle. I should have done these here. That's okay. The triangle's highest point from the baseline that we're taking here is 12 centimeters high. So we can actually use this. This is fine. Now, again, in a test or an exam, you maybe you're given some different measurements. Maybe the triangle is encased in a box that has a height of 12 and you're wondering, oh, uh, maybe they give you something like this. Oh, that's a bad corner. And they say to you, well, what's the vo volume, or sorry, the area of this triangle here with a baseline of 20 inside in this box that has a height of 12? Well, you know that from the baseline to the highest point has a perpendicular height of 12. This would not be the height, this angle at a diagonal here, right? This line at a diagonal. This is the height, it's perpendicular always. So actually, it's the same process as the other two. It's still just gonna be a half, the base, which is 20, um, which is then multiplied by the perpendicular height, which is 12. It's actually, I'll tell you the way I view these. If I have a nice number like 20 here, a half of 20 is 10, 10 times 12, 
120 and of course it's centimeters squared so because multiplication is what we call commutative and you might remember that we can doesn't matter what order i do the multiplications in i also could have said half of 12 is 6 and then 6 times 20 is 120 but of course you can just put this exactly into your calculator like this i always like to use brackets because if we're dealing with numbers with a minus out front and we're using multiplication it just makes sure our signs are right and that's it